Okay, okay. Untuk kelas hari ini kita akan masuk kepada 8.6, which is diffraction grating, the last subtopic in chapter 8. Okay, in 8.1 and 8.2 kita dah belajar interference and coherent sources. Okay, 8.3 kita dah belajar yang double slit. So yang double slit ialah double slit, dua slit yang dibuka. 8.4 kita dah belajar about thin film. 8.5 kita belajar a single slit. And it in 8.6 kita akan belajar diffraction grating. So it's very simple topic which has which is we only have two learning objective. The first one 8.6a explain with the aid of diagram the formation of diffraction and apply the sin theta equals to n lambda which is this equation is given. Alright, so we go to the first one, diffraction grating. So, what is diffraction grating? So, diffraction grating is defined as a large number of equally spaced parallel slit pattern of diffraction grating. Okay, so the pattern of diffraction grating, dia, kalau yang double slit, dia, uh, yang double slit punya pattern, dia menghampiri uh, diffraction grating. Tetapi, lama-lama, jaraknya semakin rapat. Kalau uh, single slit, dia obviously berbeza. Tengah dia central bright yang sangat terang dan lama-lama dia semakin gelap. Okay, tetapi kalau diffraction grating, dia punya pattern, it is always the same because it is a equally spaced parallel slit. Okay, if we do the experiment, kalau kita buat eksperimen nanti, this is the single slit. Uh, no, this is the diffraction grating. Okay, so bila you project you punya laser through this slit, through this grating film, you akan nampak you punya light akan equally spaced. So, it depends on the size of you punya grating film. Okay, so diffraction grating, dia akan menghasilkan equally spaced pattern. Okay, dia akan ada central bright, n equals to 1, n equals to 2. n equals to 1 bawah dan n equals to 2. And it always from the central bright. Kita tak guna m, kita menggunakan n sebagai number of order then from the diffraction grating film dia akan ada angle okey dia akan menghasilkan angle kenapa dia boleh menghasilkan angle sebab dia ialah equally spaced okey okey now we go to the first learning objective which is explain with the aid of diagram the diffraction grating okey so a diffraction grating is a plate containing many parallel lines or slit at a uniform distance so macam tunjuk tadi dia ialah filem yang ada bukaan yang sama rata okey according to hygiene principles when light is incident on a diffraction grating each slit will become a secondary source of a light so that superposition of light wave from each source will produce diffraction image of regular order on the screen. So, kita ada, for example, kita ambil dua slit, dua bukaan, tapi sebenarnya dia ialah equally split, equally spaced. Okay, equally um, ha, um, yang yang sama besar. Okay, so equally spaced, so kita ambil dua ini, for example, kita ada between the slit, dia ialah D. Okay, so kita tahu Dia ialah from the same source, dia ialah in phase. Okay, so dia ialah in phase. Kita nak ambil satu, for example, kita nak ambil satu bright fringes. Bright fringe. Okay, so we have this triangle. From here to here. Okay, so kita ambil satu. We know this is the first path and this is the second one. Okay, so between this, okay, akan ada the path difference. So, kita keluarkan segitiga ini, membentuk macam ini. So, this is D, jarak ini. This is the path difference. Okay, delta L is the path difference. Path difference. And this is the angle here. So, we have this, the angle here. And we know, sebabkan dia in phase, kita ambil satu konstruktif punya bahagian. So, kita belajar in 8.2, kalau dia in phase here, if it, if it is an in phase, so kita minta konstruktif, the path difference ialah M lambda. Tetapi dalam case uh, diffraction grating, we are not using M, we are using N lambda. So disebabkan dia ialah path difference, kita tarik, kita ambil satu yang konstruktif, bright fringes, dia ialah N lambda. So dan delta L juga, which is beza dekat sini, dia ialah 
Sebab segitiga dekat situ kan. Kalau kita nak ambil um, segitiga ini, kita we are using d sin theta, d sin theta. Kenapa sin theta? Angle dekat sini because it is sin theta equals to so opposite ialah delta L over D. So kalau kita nak delta L, it is D sin theta. So kita tahu yang pertama disebabkan dia ialah in phase dan kita ambil bright fringes. So delta L ni ialah N lambda. From here in phase, kita ambil konstruktif, dia ialah M lambda. Yang kedua disebabkan dia in phase, nak disebabkan from this triangle, kita nak cari delta L ni dia ialah D sin theta. So, dia ialah delta L yang sama. So, delta L yang sama dia ialah D sin theta equals to N lambda. From here, kita dapat the equation of D sin theta equals to N lambda. Okay. So, what is D? D is the slit separation here. Okay. Sin theta is the angle. Okay. So, kalau kita nampak tadi, kita dah tengok dia ada angle. And the angle is always from the central bright. So, ini ialah theta 1. Kalau theta 2, daripada central bright sampai yang kedua. Kalau 3, kalau ada yang ketiga. So, it is theta 3. So, theta is always from the central bright. Okay. N is the number of order and lambda is the wavelength. So, untuk uh, diffraction gradient, it's very simple one. And ini you tak perlu pening. You ambil sahaja nilai yang dia bagi. So, kalau kita first order, kamu terus ambil N sebagai satu. Okay. So, bright fringes N equals to zero central or zero order maximum. N equals to one first order maximum. Okay. Kalau dia bagi N besar, this one is very important one. Kalau dia bagi N besar, N besar ialah number of slit per unit length. So, N besar dia ialah one over D. So, kalau di, kalau soalan mention uh, eight hundreds lines per meter. So, ini ialah N besar. Sebab N besar ialah number of slit per unit length. Kalau ada per unit length, dia ialah N besar. Untuk dapatkan D, it always 1 over N. Okay. Alright. So, this is the summary for chapter 8. We have learned about interference. Okay. Interference terbagi kepada dua. The first one in phase and the second one anti phase. Kalau in phase untuk dapatkan konstruktif, the path difference equals to M lambda. Kalau dapatkan destructive, the path difference ialah delta L equals to M plus half lambda. Okay. So, apakah in phase? Permulaannya sama. Positif A and positif A ataupun negatif A and negatif A. What is mean by konstruktif? Kalau kita menghasilkan bright fringes, maximum or maxima. Kalau destructive, uh, dark fringes ataupun minimum ok, ok what, apa yang berada dalam in phase kita dah belajar in 8.3 which is yang double slit so kalau yang double slit dia constructive, equation ni akan jadi ym m lambda d over d, kalau destructive dia akan dapat this equation ok, and 8.4 kita belajar thin film thin film dia ada dua in phase constructive, this is the equation. Then in phase destructive, this is the equation. Tetapi thin film juga ada anti phase. So kalau dia constructive, this is the equation. Kalau dia destructive, this is the equation. Okay. And we have learned just now diffraction grating and diffraction grating dia berada di bawah in phase. So the equation hanyalah satu. Design data equals n lambda. Sebab untuk syllabus kamu kita hanya fokus kepada uh, bright fringes ataupun maximum. Okay. And we have learned about antiphase. Antiphase apa dia? Permulaannya satu positif and satu negatif. Ada konstruktif juga. Kalau konstruktif antiphase dia perlu M plus half lambda. Kalau destructive dia ialah M lambda. Okay. And for antiphase, one example it is a single slit. So, this is the equation for single slit. A sin theta n plus half lambda. And so, we have the equation here. It is A sin theta equals to n lambda. Okay. So, basically, this is the summary for chapter 8. Okay. Alright. So, we have finished chapter 8. 
and I'm gonna tell I'm gonna show you for example 15 and 16 in the other video okay that's it thank you